Okay, I had a question after my last video on YouTube about um, when poor compensation isn't enough, that is when your body pieces or your, your objects, I should say, because not all designs are an animal, um, but when your objects uh, don't meet up with your outline and that's usually caused by the pull of the stitching and so even though you've digitised perfectly for them to match up, they won't match in the stitch out so I'll put a link to that video below if you haven't seen it because it's important to test so after you've created your outlines but the question I had from it was how do you create the continuous outline for the um, design to start with so I've taken my rabbit design back a step I've left in my little toe dividing um, oops sorry Oh, goodness, where did that go? Um, I went, wanted to zoom in and it wouldn't zoom in. It's Now it is. <laughs> okay, so um, in my image, I actually had a photograph, but I had, so I had to sort of guess where the foot went, but I created these little lines to um, define the toes. So they're just manually single run digitized lines. So you, if you've got any details, you might want to add those first. But adding outlines to the actual objects isn't difficult at all in version 8 and 9 in particular the outlines and offsets tool has been upgraded for those two versions so version 7 unfortunately you will have to manually digitize your lines and I'll show you quickly after I've shown the version 8 and 9 um, option um, and then we can move on to making it a continuous outline so to create outlines for a, an ob a complex design that's got overlapping objects so this if I go out of true view this rabbit the um, you've got overlapping pieces here where um, the ear actually overlaps under well the face overlaps the ear this is to prevent embroidery gaps actually I noticed here um I haven't fixed this ear so if I select this object here it should actually overlap otherwise you might get gaps so I'll just reshape that now while I can so I'm going to zoom in and select that node and go down here and select the last node here which would be that node uh, oh, sorry, I should have held my shift key down. So I'll select that node, zoom in here, hold my shift key down and select that node so that all the nodes in between are selected. And then I can drag this in to create my overlap. Um, that's better. Looks all right there. All right. And there are other overlaps too. So here the pink ear is underneath the brown part of the ear, but here they overlap. And same with the body will overlap into the into under the head or the head overlaps the body part so when you've got complex designs with overlapping objects like that in I'll go back to true view in version 8 and 9 it's still quite easy to create an outline for that and all you need to do is select all the objects you want to outline so I'm going to select those one at a time actually I'll go out of true view so you can see which ones you've selected clearly so I'll select the pink part of the ear I'm going to hold my control key down now and select the other parts because I can see clearly which ones I've selected because they'll turn pink so I want the two parts of each ear I want the face and I want the body I don't want the eyes or the nose or the mouth so I haven't selected those and you can just double check you can release your control key and double check in your color film which ones you've selected so I haven't selected the eyes for instance so that's all good okay once you've selected all the objects you want to outline you then go to your edit toolbox and come down to outlines and offsets and left click on that and this is the new the dialog box in version 8 and 9 and we want object outlines so we don't want offset outlines so we've I've got a check mark in there I want a single run and I want it black so here's where we um, deal with the overlapping objects we've got three options here um, and normally if you just want to go right around the whole outside of the object you would select this common outlines and you just would get an outline going right around 
the rabbit here but you wouldn't get the lines you need down here around the face and up here through between the two parts of the ears so that common outlines is not going to help you um, I'll just show you what it would do so you know so I've selected that common one I'll go okay and so as you can see I'll actually put a couple of lines in here for some reason and a bit in here but generally speaking it just goes around the outside there's no black line through here um, and there's no black line through around most of the face so that's not going to be what we want so we'll undo um, and we will select those objects again and I'm still in true view but I can see which ones I've selected so and we will go to our outlines and offsets tool and over here we've got individual outlines all outlines created will be full outlines now that one's not going to work for us either because that means we'll get an outline around the pink part of the ear so there'll be a, a black outline coming around underneath here um, and then we'll have uh, it'll go right around the outer ear so we'll have a black line underneath the head here um, which we don't need so what so that means every single object will be completely outlined um, I think you get the idea about that so I won't show you that one but the third option over here on the right is trimmed outlines and that's the one we want so trimmed outlines will outline every single object but where there's any overlaps it will trim away any unnecessary um, outline parts so I've selected that trimmed outlines I don't want an offset outline so there's no check mark in there so I, um, corners I do want um, sharp corners where they are sharp so I'm going to select that center option um, and then just holes is grayed out because I haven't got any holes so I'm going to go okay and it takes a little while to work it all out but there we go we have got those um, trimmed outlines if you look in your color film the outer part of the ear has not got any outline across where the head is the inner part of the ear has not got any outline where the outer part of the ear is there's only the outside if I select this one you can see here that only this part here has got an outline and then the head of course is one complete outline and the body should be trimmed as well let me find the body must be up higher there it is so there's the body and you can see where the head cuts and the ear cuts through the body there's no outline underneath that is exactly what you want so if you've got an object uh, uh, sorry an embroidery design with lots of overlapping objects that is the option you choose to get your outlines now still this is going to stitch as individual objects in the color film it well it depends what order you had your objects in I suppose but I've got the body stitching then I've got this little part here which is over here so if I went out of true view it's going to it's going to have extra jump stitches and move around it's a bit hard to see to be honest on here um, I'll go back into true view but yes yeah, so it will stitch the body outline then it will stitch this part then a little tiny part of the chin another part of the chin um, it's picked those up as separate little parts for some reason I don't know why but they're all there um, then that part of the ear so that's a bit messy to stitch out so what we're going to do is apply the black work run to that so that they're all joined together they all meet up if we go in really close you can't really tell that these are all separate little pieces along here but um, they are in fact separate pieces in the digitizing toolbox so we need to select in, in the color film sorry we need to select all those objects we need so in this case I will go out of true view because I want to make sure I select all the outline I want it to go pink but I'm going to turn off show outline so that doesn't confuse me and I'm going to turn off the connectors so that doesn't confuse me and I can see this area is pink I've got that outline if I hold my control key down I can select the body I can select that little part of the face this part of the face that part of the face that part of the face again if you if you select a part that um, 
you don't want to select you just click on it again with your control key still held down and it will um, now that's interesting because I've got a full circle for the face there even though I had those little pieces so I might actually delete those little pieces because we might have a double layer there and we have so for some reason ah I didn't have enough overlap here that's why because I didn't finish this part of the design either um, I won't go back now but yeah I could actually delete those other little bits of outline so that one to that one those bits I'll delete those because they're not necessary all right you won't get that because you'll have more of an overlap between these two I've forgotten to create my overlap there unfortunately all right so these are things that you pick up when you're digitizing if you forget something so keep be mindful of that so I need that bit that bit holding my control key down that bit that bit that bit that bit that bit now these are the toes now I want to include those in this black work run because I want them to be stitched continuously with the rest of the outline so even though they weren't digitized with the outline tool that I manually digitized them they can still be included in the black work run so I'm selecting those toes and I think I have got everything I need selected so I can see a pink outline around all the parts I need plus my little toes so now I'm going to apply a black work run and that's in your edit toolbox and if you come down to a little way you can find blackwork run so just select that you'll be prompted down in the bottom left to enter an entry point now you want to enter that entry point in a place that's not going to be too conspicuous because it will start and end there and you'll get a tie in and a tie off in the same spot so it may notice in the stitching so try and put it in an obscure space not right in a corner but um, close to a, a corner where it won't show so much like it would show more if it was halfway down the back okay I've done I clicked there and that f immediately formed the black work run so this is now one object I'm in individual objects not color blocks and I'm seeing all the outlines I need so that will stitch as one now I um, would then find decide where I want to have it in the color film so I've got all the face details stitching after that and they're all either black or colors that aren't used in the design if I go into true view there's no colors in here that I've used anywhere else in the design the only thing would be the whiskers and I've got the and so I've got the eyeballs the eyelashes and the whiskers stitching straight after that outline so that's good I don't have to re-thread the machine I can stitch all the black at once and the whiskers will stitch on top of the outline which is what I want I could have included those in the black work run too but you would have got funny little corners here where it goes down and across and does the whisker and then comes back and it just wouldn't look as nice as them stitching on top so there will be some jump stitches to trim with those but um, not a major issue now as I promised with version, version 7 you will have to digitize those outlines manually so if I delete that now and the easiest way to get your outlines exactly on the outline you could use your you do have that uh, um, you have an offsets tool it's got a little tulip um, icon and so you could use that to create your face outline so you could select your face shape and create that with that tool you just set your offset to zero so um I'll go into there so I'm just going to get one single and I'm only doing one shape so um, I'm not doing any other overlaps I've only selected the face to do this um, and I want it black and I'll go okay so that gives me my facial outline now to get the other ones accurately on top of the digitizing lines just come up to um, 
show or hide your stitches um, and click on that and that will hide the stitches and then to the right of that oh well actually I think in version 7 automatically the outlines will show but we've got in version 9 and 8 we've got a show outlines tool so you should see this and then you can see where you need to click for your other outlines just digitize manually with the um, open object single run in the color black and start with so start so that it meets up with the other with the outline from the face where you need to so you would just left and right click around each object so the outer ear has to go right up here and because I'm did I'm clicking right on the digitizing line I'm getting a very accurate outline instead of trying to guess um, from the true view or even the um, um, design view um, it's much harder when you just when you've just got the outlines it's a lot easier to see so that's going to meet up with the face again here and enter so that's that outline done and then you would do the pink part of the ear and then you would do the body and then these and then you would have then you could apply the black work run just the same as um, I did earlier for version 8 and 9 so I hope that's answered the question and as I said once you've got your outlines done for you just um, if you haven't seen the other video um, that I have click on the link below to see how you can make sure that when you embroider that the outline and the fill stitches um, match up.